It's Big Game James Licardi, Sports Director at Flag Family Media, here with the head coach of the MSM Dragon football team, Steve Lockway. Coach, you, you wrapped up your home slate last weekend. I'm just curious as to your thoughts overall, regardless of, of the result that had happened, just your, your thoughts on that entire day, sending off the seniors on senior day, just everything that kind of encapsulated that day. Definitely a full day of emotions across the, the whole spectrum. And so you have 18 seniors that that walk across that field for the last time and their families and friends that get to meet them beforehand. And you see the, you think about the stories, you see the impact that Dragon football's had, not just on them, but then that group of people that's with them. And so you, you definitely want to send them to go out in the right way. Um, the game was an intense back and forth battle like any rivalry game. Um, you know, it doesn't go our way, you know, but then there's a great life lesson afterwards. You know, you, f you feel down about the game and I challenge the guys after the game. We've got the parent banquet after, you know what? Let's go give them their, our best. They've given, our, them, they've given us their best through the course of our entire lives, through the season, supporting us. Let's go into that banquet, give them everything we got, be at our best, maybe when we don't feel like it, but that's how life works. And so I think the guys did a great job with that. It was awesome to have that send off with the families. It was awesome to get a chance to talk about each senior in front of a group of 450 Dragon family members. <laughs> and so, um, you know, it was a... Like I say, a wide range of spectrum of emotions, but it was a, it's a fabulous day. One of my most favorite days of the year is when we have that go together as a Dragon family of families getting together. It, uh, it always seems awesome to be able to, whether it's pre-game talk with the parents or post-game seeing them on the field. And it just seems like everybody's a family member at this point, which has got to be awesome for you as the head coach as well. Last weekend, what do you think your team learned on the field against Bemidji that you can take forward to this weekend against you, Mary? Well, we got to put it all together, all three phases. And, you know, at times we've been great throughout the season on offense or great on defense or great in special teams. And, you know, the defense played a phenomenal game. Uh, you know, I would say the best game that we've played all year against a really, really good offensive football team that was physical and explosive. And I thought we did a great job with that. You know, we weren't able to play at that same level offensively. But football is the ultimate team game, and you have to have all – phases in sync each game and so I think you know we, we learned that hey we've got to make sure that we're all clicking together but what we did do a great job of picking each other up and, and this team has done that throughout the season if the defense isn't playing well the offense would cover for them and vice versa and I think that was good you just at the end of the day just didn't have enough points or just didn't make enough plays to be able to get it done. We had talked before the conversation a little bit about uh, Jack's pick six I know over the, uh, the last couple of years, I, I flash back to Josiah's pick six against uh, last season. I, I think about Cody Sorensen's pick six a couple weeks ago, and now Jackson. It, it always seems like a guy gets a pick, and then everybody ends up in front of him to lead block. It, it is just um, miraculous in my eyes as to the amount of effort given. I'm just curious as to your thoughts as a coach and, and seeing that whole camaraderie of everything coming together because a pick six is really a broken down play and guys got to go find a body and, and play clean. Yeah, and it's it becomes backyard football, it becomes a want and a desire to can I help my buddy get into the end zone. You know, I think that's the Oh, the, the, the positive way of looking at it. You can also say, gosh, we're just getting interceptions with really slow guys and everybody can get in front of them <laughs> to block and just happen to find a way. And so uh, there's maybe been a rib or two like that uh, to the guys, but phenomenal job getting themselves into the end zone. Those are game-changing plays, and so it's, it's fun to watch that happen. It's fun to see it as a coach kind of transpire. Looking ahead to this weekend, as a head coach, I don't know how much you do or don't care. It's battle for the paddle. You guys won eight straight. If at all, as a coaching staff, does it mean anything different for you guys going into a trophy game like that? Well, trophy games always mean something, right? It's a tangible piece that's either going to be in your team room or not in your team room at the end of the game. And so it's it's something that means a lot to both programs. It's something that means a lot to the guys that have been in this program before. And when I was first started here, we'd never won the paddle. And so you know, it was a big deal to be able to get that win. I can, run, you know, I can remember that day, and I can remember the, the guys that were part of that, and I can remember the guys that were battling through that weren't able to get it. And so th there, it is a sign of struggle, and it's a sign of uh, being able to overcome obstacles, and certainly our guys want to be able to, to keep that with us. They, they, they owe that a little bit to the guys in our program of like, hey, we need to finish well. However the season's been, whatever, it doesn't matter. We got a rivalry game with a, with a trophy on the line. We need to go play our best football and finish well. Against you, Mary, what needs to happen in all three phases for you guys to be successful and to send off those seniors with one final win? 
Well, I think defense, if they can pick up where they left off, I think defensively we were playing awesome football, like I said, best of the season. Let's pick up where we left off. Special teams-wise, let's, let's make a difference. Let's make a difference in the game. We've had some big kickoff returns, but we've given up some. Like, let's, let's not go uh, back and forth. Let's, let's flip that to our side. And then offensively, we, we got to get in a rhythm. I, I think at times we were in a rhythm early in the game, and then we got knocked out of a rhythm. And so we've got to get in a rhythm. But the biggest thing, if we can create some big plays. You know, we've struggled uh, to create big plays. Teams have sagged off. We've, we've had the chunk slowly down the field and, and that forces you to be on point and, and efficient all the way it's difficult long drives and so if we can uh, maybe pop a few big plays here or there uh, start the game like we did last year scoring on the first play that would certainly help uh, so if we can cue that up that'd be great yeah, well that was pretty electric last year I couldn't remember if I remember that was like a bubble screen type play yeah, of some sorts and a little a uh, little bit of just excitement to begin the game but we talked about it last week we mentioned it at the beginning of the conversation but this Saturday, it's truly the final time between the lines in live action with helmets on that those 18 seniors are going to be with you guys regardless uh, of their health status or, or whatnot. Uh, just one final kind of send-off and hoorah as to what those guys have meant to this program. They meant a ton. Like there's, there's a lot of football that's been played um, by them. There's a lot of experience. There's a lot of mentorship that they've given to the guys on this team, and so they have a a, a deep legacy that that will last much longer than tomorrow's game and so um we've been able to lean on them for a long time and we're going to lean on them for one more week and then you know what then it's going to be their legacy and then they're going to create space so to say in the program and they're going to move on and then other people are going to have to step into the shoes and they're going to have to become the the new josiahs the the new denver sheets and you know not that they're going to be the same player but they're going to have to fill those roles and that are left open and so that's the great thing about college football it's it's constantly evolving and changing and we're going to have to be able to take their legacy and push it on forward awesome well coach thanks for a couple of your time we appreciate it each and every week it's always great to get in the mind of a coach a little bit and and, and get some thoughts pre-game so always appreciate that and good luck to you and your squad on saturday thank you and big game james mccarty alongside head coach steve lockway of the dragon football team have a great rest of your day